Hi, Dale Titus here with Two Minute Bass Lessons. Well, I've been doing some uh, videos on how to improve your plucking speed on your, for most of us, right hand, for some of you, left hand. And uh, the response has been really good. I, I was uh, surprised. I didn't know uh, people would really want to delve into that. So we're going to continue the series with more exercises designed to test your agility, build your stamina, and get your accuracy down. Uh, today is plucking hand speed drills number three. And this one's quite simple. Uh, it, it's going to be posted online at mtdkingston.com. Go to uh, the zone and go to the base lessons and under written materials you'll see the chart for this. But it's easy enough to show you. Starts with uh, two open A strings and it's a dotted eighth note and a sixteenth note. Then you play two sixteenth notes uh, on the E second fret followed by an eighth note. Same note. So you end up playing three. And the rhythm is ba ba da 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 ba ba da 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 ba ba da da da. Okay? So that's the first two beats. Third beat, you go back to the open A, play the same rhythm. And this time you play the E flat on the first fret of the D string. Then you go back. And then you play two quarter notes. Now you might think, this is a pretty simple bass line. You know, why, how would this improve my right hand plucking speed? Well, in it, we're doing a couple things. We're mixing some rhythms. We're doing a dotted eighth note followed by sixteenth note. Then we do two sixteenth notes followed by an eighth note. And we're also putting in some quarter notes at the end to kind of give resolution to the phrase. Uh, this kind of combination, not just being consistent eighth notes, you know, requires some different alternating with your uh, right hand fingerings. Um, so what I would suggest is start very slowly with a metronome even at 60 beats per minute and just start very slowly and play it and loop it many times, you know. isolate your right hand technique. Are you dragging? Are you raking? Are any notes really loud and other notes really quiet? Then speed up the tempo by 10 beats. Do it again. Speed up the tempo by 10 beats and see you know, how fast you can get it without it falling apart, getting too clanky or having a lot of misfreaded notes. Um, so practice this one. Put it into your routine and I only suggest a couple of minutes a day. I mean five minutes max and you should be able to get from like 60 beats per minute to maybe 100 beats per minute. And then the next day, maybe you start at 70 and try to get to 110, something like that. Uh, and if you do this diligently for a week or so, you're going to see improvement in the right hand accuracy, definitely in your stamina. And a little add-on here, if you play with your amp either off or very quiet, you're going to dig in a little more and make it a little bit more like a weightlifting exercise, which will help, it, help you when you're performing with a full band. Uh, as always, the caveat is pay attention to your hands. If you're starting to feel any kind of uh, fatigue or pain, stop rest your hand, move on to another exercise. Okay, so there you have it. This is plucking hand speed drill number three. And I hope it's working for you guys. I hope you're really improving your right hand dexterity, speed, and stamina. All right, thanks for stopping by.